Hi quilters, it is T Quilts and we're here for the November 2022 optional block. So let's get started. So the blocks that we're going to be working on this month is called 2x4 or I'm calling it 2x4. I seen a photo of this block circulating around the internet and so I just decided to make it. So for this month, this is one of those months in November where you're going to need to make two blocks. And they're really very simple. It's called 2x4 because all of your pieces are cut into two and a half by four and a half inch pieces and so you're going to make a block that starts with the medium dark prints in the center surrounded by light prints and then the final frame is dark and then the opposite is happening over here where you're going to have lights in your middle one round of medium dark prints and then another round of lights these blocks when done should finish 12 and a half inches edge to edge 12 inch finish once it's sewn in, sewn into a quilt top i have decided to eliminate the cutting because that does take a while but i just wanted to show people how i cut if we have any tricky cutting then i will show you any tricky cutting uh, for this one, you're going to need the exact same number of pieces. You're going to need 18 light 2 and 1 half inch by 4 and 1 half inch rectangles. And then you're also going to need to have 18 medium dark prints that are 2 and 1 half by 4 and 1 half. Now here in this column, remember when I talked about we want to make sure that we're not using duplicate prints? Well, in this, since we're making two blocks, we can cut duplicate prints. And that's because six of these are going to be used in the other block. It's okay to put them in the other block. It's not okay to put duplicates in the same block. So basically, we're going to be taking the six duplicates from my dark and medium pile. They're going to be in one block. Let me rotate this around. They're going to actually end up over here. And then in my light piles, I'm going to take out my duplicates. Two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to put them with my dark pile. So I am going to set up both of my boards for sewing. So I'm going to get another board here. So we're going to start with two rectangles and sew them together on their long sides. Then we're going to put, and these are your medium to dark prints, and then we're going to put light prints on each side. And when we sew those on, that's what we're going to have next that's going to need two pieces of white put together. But before you can sew it to the top, you've got to sew them to the short side. So I'm just going to lay this block out so that we can see how they're pieced together. And then on the sides, you're going to do two pieces. This side two pieces and then on your tops and bottoms you're going to need three of these pieces sewn on their short sides before 
you can sew them together. So I'm going to also set up the reverse block. So this is how the dark block looks. Whatever is the color that's on the outside edge of your frame. So now we're going to set up the light block. Which starts with two pieces of light prints in the center. Matter of fact, let's put two prints. That would be cool. And then we're going to use our six mediums to dark prints and now we have our white prints to finish this off So what I'm going to do to make this a little bit easier to understand how things are pieced for my beginner sewers, I'm going to go sew these two pieces along the long sides and then where I have pieces that need to be sewed together on the short sides, I'm going to do all of that sewing and then I will be right back. I'm back and I have my block, what I'm calling block A here just because it starts with the dark in the center. And I have sewn together all of my seams that need to be sewn together prior to me sewing the frame around the block. So I have sewn the center seam on my two center rectangles. And then on top and bottom in the lights, I have sewn these two pieces together. Then I went to my side units out here that had two pieces on each side sew those together and then my top and bottom pieces have three pieces and I've sewed all three of those together so again this is block A and I'm going to pull in my block with the light on the outside which I'm calling block B my two center pieces again sewed top and bottom two pieces sewed left and right pieces are sewed and then top and bottom pieces are now sewed together so now basically you're just sewing a frame onto these blocks you're going to sew the side pieces flip your seams out the nice thing about this block is that it is going to be this block is going to be rotated one quarter turn and when you're sewing your blocks together, it doesn't matter which way you've pressed your seam allowances because none of your seam allowances are going to match. So as you're sewing these units together, don't worry about which way to press. It's not necessary for you to press these seams open. Just press them to one side. You should be okay. So I'm going to go sew side pieces together here and here. So I'm going to sew quarter inch seams, press those out. And then I'm going to sew the top and bottom pieces on and press those out. I will sew that step and then I will come back again. All right, I'm back and I have my two block units here. I'm showing you block A where I have sewn my two side pieces onto the center square here. And then I've also added two pieces on top and bottom so I've completed one frame and now we just need to add the second frame at this point your block should be eight and one half inches from raw edge to raw edge and then you're going to put again two pieces on the sides and then once those are sewn and flipped out this piece will be the correct size 12 and a half inches long to go on the top and the bottom of your block units and I have the same thing that I will be doing with block A just wanted to come show you what it looks like uh, at this point again make sure that it's eight and a half inches square at this point edge to edge I'm gonna go and sew these remaining pieces onto my block and I'll be right back so we're here with our two completed blocks. I have them pressed and they now are 12 and a half inches. If you are like an eighth 
of an inch off or something like that don't worry about it because it can be accommodated when you're sewing your blocks together now how does this block get sewn together if you notice if we keep all three units where we piece the three separate fabrics at the top all of your seam allowances when you go to sew these blocks together will be matched seams if you rotate your light blocks one quarter turn you now have no seams matching when you're sewing these blocks together so if we had this as row number one and then came back with row number two and we continue to rotate your light blocks one quarter turn you can see where no seam allowances are going to be touching as you're sewing this entire quilt top together so I can only show you this much right here I will see if I can uh, put this on my deck later and maybe add a photo of these so you can see the entire thing I also have to make one more set again because I'm making three sets of these blocks for this sew along so I will see you in the next video thank you so much bye bye thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and i'll see you in my next video bye bye t quilters stay blessed